Okay. Imagine a layer around the Earth. Not an atmosphere, but like an atmosphere, a biosphere. In here is a hugely dynamic region, stretching from the air to the deepest caves. It is characterized by billions of living creatures being born, sustaining themselves, and dying. The teeming billion of points of life are dynamic replicators and dynamic communicators. The biosphere is a web of events transmuting matter into form and more and more elaborate form. Energy sheds off these bright, burning, mobile, tenacious, dangerous things who are the points of life. They gather these burning points in swarms, in flocks, in cloud crowds, in tempests. They swim and fly, they crawl and slip, they scuttle and burrow and rob and kill. They consume each other, these points of life, those who eat burn brightest. These darting, stoking, calling, moving, fluttering, are filled up and are filling the web of life with sound and movement. The web of life engages matter in a gigantuine struggle against inevitable inertia. Here is the nursery inside the furnace of the early earth. In the water bubbling, sulfurous and slimy, slimy things, crusty things, like rock, begin to grow. Creatures shedding the membranes of themselves to become larger, chrysalises pupate and metamorphosize. A swelling, creaking, tearing, rattling, squirming of cartilage, calcaric carapace, bony cracking, squeezing of wet wing, pumping of fluids, wings are in evidence, laced like maps with a network of vascules. It is an ancient elemental struggle of creatures driven in the web of their instinct and their needs, 
everything alive connects with the each other and through that contract connects with everything else. Life is a matrix of connections, compulsions, glances of fear or lust, bursts of phenomena, of pheromones, panic attacks and muscles of steel. The elemental creatures stirred and the first wings shaken out and begin to flutter feebly as they inflate.